What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by Wes, our voice actor. Hi. And our actual lawyer, Pridge. Hello. Folks, if you like this stream, you can catch it live on twitch.tv slash Save Data Team every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you wanted to support us, you can do that over on patreon.com slash Save Data Team, where for two bucks a month, you get every single VOD of every single video we do. And if you invest more, you can get uh, votes towards what we do each month, including getting your name featured in this brand new version of the Patreon song. <gasps> thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Vergabon, Les, Bandicoot Commando, Cud, Dave, Shadow, Navi, and Sofino. HSM, Fern, Suna, Yama, Antelester, Kevin, Asian, and Alucha. Shout out to Jaco, Bell, Taco, Sensei, our key, Forensic, Beck, Nicole, and Mystic, Woody. Dessert Boy Man, Elijah Sly, Rick Rat, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Naruko Yangi, and Fulfilla, Written Word, Shade the Punisher, Sevilla! Thank him, thank him, gotta thank him all, gotta thank him all our Patreons! Alright folks, uh, again, sorry for, apologies for my microphone this week, it is, uh, in the shop, we'll say. So I'm using this microphone, I know it sounds different, and I'm very sad about that, but, uh, yeah. This, the Save Data Grinch had to go take it back to their workshop. <laughs> exactly. But this is the final investigation of the day. Of the game, I mean. <laughs> of the game. I mean, it's also the last one of the day. That's it's true. First, it's also the yeah. first one of the day and the only one of the day. That's true. Uh, so let's... There can be only one investigation. Here we go. What's the deal with these Cyclops? Right. Is this what is this what Godot was talking about? Yeah. The trick locks. Now then, Iris, please remove these at once. I mean, dog, she just put up four more. Like, I don't think. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Matrike. I'm out of ideas. Yeah, I, that was my last shot, right? <laughs> it's up to you. I thought I could get her. <laughs> that usually works when I ask women Wait. to do things for me. <laughs> Wait a minute, right? I have one last idea. <laughs> Iris, remove these locks. Please. Uh-uh. <laughs> Damn, Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> um, Mr. Edgeworth, I'm afraid I can't. It, it's not possible for me. What? But Iris, anything is possible if you believe. believe. In the heart of the cards. <laughs> ah, Yugi. <laughs> no, we can't. We can't do a crossover <laughs> bit every episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, she'll never get those locks open. Kaiba. <laughs> Come on, Yog. Come on, Yog. We gotta get these locks open. <laughs> Baby Looks like dragon. the whole gang's here, right? <laughs> I'll burn those locks off. This sucks. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll just turn back time before the locks were there with my time wizard. God damn it. <laughs> During the earthquake, when the cavern was in danger of caving in, Iris escaped. And I know that there was only one lock when I came here last. Yes. If only I was stronger. What are you gonna break a <laughs> Just lock? Imagining yeah. he's try he's like <gasps> over there trying to like <sighs> rip them off. Come on, Edgeworth! <laughs> what would the steel samurai say if he saw you now? <laughs> Edgeworth, you never skip leg day, you can do this. <laughs> Edgeworth, how are you feeling? You look a little pale in the face. Like you're one to talk with your face all green. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth, go and get some air. I'll watch over the suspect. You go and get a grip on yourself. D don't be ridiculous, I'm perfectly fine! Is that the first time oh. she's whipped Edgeworth? It, yeah, our playthrough, yeah. It might yeah. be. Yeah. Wow. wow, that's power right there. 
that's that, not that's, telling that's, the sort that, of that, that's sibling that's sibling love whipping. <laughs> yeah. That's, that, that that's whipping. That that's a that's that's whipping with with you know because you care about someone. Hmm. Uh huh. There's no telling what sort of mistakes you could make in your current state. Go and get some rest. That's your only concern now, Miles Edgeworth. Understood. I'll handle the investigation in the garden. You take care of things here. Edgeworth. He's got so much pride that he's probably off crying in a corner in the garden. Pride is simply another trap that hinders us in our lives. Well, it's funny coming from you, but sure. That said... One must have pride to be effective on the job. Okay, well... Like me, I have the perfect amount of pride. <laughs> you sound That's really proud funny, about right? it. Yeah, <laughs> immensely proud. <laughs> At any rate, it seems that this is where we part ways, Phoenix Wright. I'm going to stay here and see if I can't help solve these bothersome puzzles. I see. No, get out of here, Leighton. Well, thanks for your help. We come back and Brandon's just whipping the locks. <laughs> <laughs> Open, damn you. <laughs> Why isn't this working? Now then. This usually works when I whip things. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you a few things, Iris? Francisca, it's the ghost of Manfred. <laughs> Have you tried tasing the locks? <laughs> <laughs> No, not at all. Why did you make a run for it, Iris? Uh, I'm sorry. I just have this thing where I need to run at least like two miles every day. God and damn it. I haven't had a chance to do that yet, so. My Fitbit had been bothering me all day about not getting my yeah, steps in. My Apple Watch was just yelling at me to take a walk. I heard the Inner Temple had been severely shaken by the strong earthquakes we had. I... I was so worried. I just had to come and see. In other words, you didn't run away to escape the law. At least we're clear on that. I can't tell you how relieved I was when I saw the Sacred Cavern was alright, but... But what? Then I saw these chains here. I saw all these extra locks that someone had put on the sacred cavern's door, and... Hmm... Who in the world would have done something like this? Also, uh, shit, I genuinely thought that it was, uh... I, I mean, she could still be lying, I suppose, but... What? You thought I did this? But we are holding the Magatama, so I don't know. You're such a meanie, Feeny. <laughs> Wait, what did you call me? <laughs> what did you say? Uh, Only one person has called me that name. And they're dead. But wait, they had red hair. <laughs> and their name was not Iris, so... <laughs> couldn't be you. These trick locks are a sacred treasure of the Kirang tradition. That's kind of weird, dog. There are hundreds of ways to set them. What? That's why only the person who set the lock can open it. And you aren't the one who sets these locks. I don't think it's that simple, Francisca von Karma. <laughs> I like that. When we were here the first time, there was only one lock. But now, somehow there's five of them. What does that mean? It means that someone wanted to secure the place even more. That they wanted to secure that they wanted to secure it before you got here, Iris. Presumably because they wanted to make sure that I that Maya couldn't get out. This means that Iris can only open one of these locks, the first one. I mean, it's a start. Do you mind opening the first one? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Luna Ray Arclight. The locks are self-reproducing. <laughs> They've undergone, my, they've undergone by... mitosis. We'll come back five minutes later. Can you later, reproduce by budding? 
What? Iris, try to think, please. Isn't there any way around this? Well, have you guys tried, you know, some, uh, like chain cutters or a blowtorch? <laughs> oh my god, that's such a brilliant idea! Why did nobody think of that yeah. before? Yeah, why didn't you guys do that? Godot comes in, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of this. Do you, wa- do you want this whole place to come down? <laughs> Well, like I said, there are hundreds of different ways to set these locks. I suppose if I went through every combination with each one, I could remove them. All right, get to work. Uh, I don't. Uh, oh, I don't. Wanna. Okay. <laughs> it will take time, won't it? Yes, uh, about a day, if I had to guess. A That's whole pretty, day. That- that's not that long. Yeah, to try for hundreds of combinations on four for different locks. Five, four different locks? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty conservative. Well, that's better than leaving the locks in place. Will you do this for us? Sure. I'll do whatever I can. We've got to wait another day? Hang in there, Maya. You're going to have to call on your inner strength now. What inner strength? You know what, Iris? There's still one thing I don't quite get. And what might that? And what might that be, Phoenix Light? I think it's obvious. Iris, on the night of the murder, where were you? Please, Iris, don't give me that look. You told us that you were in your room at Hazakura Temple on the night of the incident. But you were seen that same evening at the Inner Temple. And then, you were spotted at the scene of the crime in Hazakura Temple, too! Being spotted at both Hazakura Temple and the Inner Temple, it's as if you were... Well, Iris, I think it's about time you told us the truth. Motherfucker. (laughs) Well, it's only three, I guess that's something. Damn it, now we've got eight locks! (laughs) That door is lying to me more than you are. (laughs) I knew it. There's something going on here we don't know about. Okay, well. well, Bye, I guess. Goodbye, yeah, well. Shit. Boom, boom, boom. I'm finally getting to the bottom of this case. Are you? (laughs) <laughs> are you? Like, genuinely, are you? I can count on Iris to break those locks, so I should try to gather more clues. From Sister Bikini, Edgeworth, Gumshoe, and Pearls. Okay, well, thanks for telling us where we should be looking. Right. Oh, I guess Pearls isn't here Perfect. right now. Uh, let's go to the garden, because Edgeworth will be there. Gordon. 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 Cops are still combing the place. They look pretty nervous. I'd be nervous too. It's gotta be a tough job. Whoa, Phoenix, don't get too sympathetic with them, please. Especially with someone giving you the evil eye the whole time. Oh, but what a, how could I have done that? <laughs> wow, I can't believe it's still bothering him. Edgeworth. Ah! Gotcha. Hey! Don't you dare run away! Don't be a Larry. (laughs) What do you want, right? (coughs) What do I want? If you came here to laugh at me, then get on with it. Go on! Laugh away! Well, since you invited me... (laughs) You fucking nerd. (sighs) I was ready to hug it out with him, but he's just the same prideful Edgeworth. Wow, again. Can't tell if this game isn't queer-coded. You went back to the criminal affairs department, right? You said you wanted to look into something concerning Iris. Yes. And thanks to what I found, I was reminded of something terrible. The DL6 incident? Oh, so you will have never heard of it. Earthquakes! (laughs) (laughs) 
sir. Hey, you want to talk about your quick, trauma, sir, Edward? Quick. <laughs> You guys are putting a lot of effort into the investigation here in the garden, huh? There's a high chance this is the actual scene of the crime. That's why. You mean because of the writing in blood and the talisman in the snow? Exactly. As you know, those things couldn't have been <clears throat> planted after he here after the murder. But surely, you don't suspect... Maya... Do you? Well, I mean, come on. Third time's the charm, right? <laughs> what are the odds that she's not guilty this time? Come on, I mean, like, come on. One of these times, she's got to be guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Process of elimination, Maya's got to have commit a murder at least once in her life. We have to treat everyone as a suspect. Maya as well as Iris. It's our job, right? So, I guess you still haven't gotten over your fear of earthquakes. Why would you ask him about that? <laughs> no. no thankfully, I my, thankfully, my nightmares have stopped. Well, that's progress. <laughs> I did help prove that your father would. I did help prove that you didn't murder your father, so I'm, I'm glad that's figured out. <laughs> But still, if the ground gives even the slightest tremor, I find myself short of breath. Seventeen years ago, when we, we were little kids at the same elementary school. Flashback! Edgeworth found himself in the middle of a murder. Oh boy, are we going to get to see that Yanni Yogi screaming in the elevator? Please, sprite again? please. It all started with the big quake that hit the courthouse. Oh, come on. Come on, give it to me. Do they have the space in the cartridge? Come no. on. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Fucking called it. Let's Incredible. Go. I I want I want I want to know like what is the most used like flashback sprite because it surely it's this. Like That's I a have really seen good question. This so question? many fucking times. It's a really good question. <laughs> like, oh my god. Yes, I was stuck in the elevator with my father, who was a defense lawyer. We were deprived of oxygen and we passed out. That's when it happened. That single gunshot shattered my whole life. Edgeworth, I, you, I didn't mean for to bring this whole thing up again. I feel really bad now. No, no, right. I need to talk about this. <laughs> We're doing this right now. <laughs> We're having this conversation. I lost everything that day. All because of that earthquake. No, really, Edgeworth, you don't have to... No, no, no. <laughs> my dreams, my family, and myself. Well, I mean... I mean, did you really lose your dreams? I'm still here. <laughs> like I said, everything. It's been more than 17 years now. Get over it. Get over it. <laughs> you fucking baby. And that case was finally resolved three years ago, right? No, th I mean, completely entirely to my help. You think I don't know that? I was there. Yeah. But it was such a shock. I never imagined I could be so wrong about myself and my life. And about these feelings. <laughs> what is it? What is it? These uh, unnecessary, un these unnecessary, yeah, unnecessary feelings. feelings. Yeah. I'm sorry, right? There's nothing else I can say. Honestly, you've said a lot. Yeah, you've what? You've said more than I asked you to. <laughs> Not after you chose to become a lawyer for my sake. And not after you saved me. Yay! You're stronger than you think. So no more of this self-pity, okay? Just fuck already. Oh, that was really cute. I got, I got a little goosebumpy on that one. <laughs> there was something that bothered me about her from the moment we met. 
I felt like I'd seen her somewhere before. No. Wait. Not somewhere. I felt like I'd seen her in court before. So, you went back to the Criminal Affairs Department to look for her file? Yes. I checked over every case file I've ever worked on. And let me tell you, there were a lot of W's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Edward. Not, not to brag, but uh, yeah. Who is the who is not... the defense attorney during all your L's, though? Who is <laughs> that? I feel like I feel like he was a pretty good looking Shh. guy, actually. Shut up. Shut what was up. his name? <laughs> <sighs> and I was right. I had seen her face before, six years ago. Six years ago. DL six, six years ago. DL six uh. years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it all God comes it. back. <laughs> it was my first appearance at court, and as cases go, it was my worst nightmare. Wait, but I thought your worst nightmare was, you know, the, the elevator and your the dead, dead dying. Dad. Thought you killed him. The whole thing. <laughs> so. Who is she? I'm sorry, Wright. I can't give that information away to a member of the general public. Edgeworth, I cannot stress this enough. Fuck you right now. <laughs> Fuck you so much. That is... You're telling me I gotta wait like three more hours of game to find this out officially? Fuck you. <laughs> what? Why not? It might be the crucial piece of the puzzle that solves this case. The woman I knew was the daughter of a jewelry store owner. She had nothing to do with Iris and Hazakura Temple. And neither did the case. I mean, it happened on the bridge that's literally right there, so I don't know about that one, dog. <laughs> no. That woman is completely unrelated to this murder. Unrelated? Yes. I can say that with complete confidence. Wild. You're wrong, Edgeworth. She's totally related to this case. I need to fill Edgeworth in. I need to explain the connection between Iris and the woman Edgeworth knew. I need to fill in Edgeworth. I mean, fill Edgeworth <laughs> in. Uh, do we have her profile? I was going to say, do we? We don't. Uh, do we have a piece of evidence? Evidence, I don't we? think so. Uh, we have a picture. We have a picture of Iris in the magazine, technically. I mean, that I can't. That's Iris, anything. though, right? I mean, I'm oh try. yeah, we don't. We don't yeah. have any. Okay, this is nothing. Sorry, right? You're a defense attorney, and I'm a prosecutor. It wouldn't be right for us to discuss things so intimately. Well, I'm a cool guy, and you're a piece of shit. So I guess you're right. You were acting for the defense in the trial today. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah, we don't have anything. Well, that's kind of annoying, so we should just be able to be like... Um, hey, dog. <laughs> hey, she tried to murder me. <laughs> yeah. Where are we going? Uh, wait, the training... Oh, no, not here. Other way. <laughs> oh, it just says drag hey. me. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm, looking, I'm looking for the trailer. Is this the trailer? Shut up. What? <laughs> okay, maybe Gumshell will be here. Fine, fuck me. It's weird that there's no one around all of a sudden. <coughs> it sure gets quiet up here in the mountains when you're all on your own. Speaking of alone, I guess I should go check out the shack down this path. Maybe I'll find Larry there sulking again. I thought it said sucking again. <laughs> Well, that's I mean, that's always that's assumed. Yeah, <laughs> Larry, stop yeah. sucking. This this makes me want to like go to a mountain. This actually looks like a really sweet <laughs> place to be. To yeah, uh, like that? like hiking in mountains is actually kind of fun. I will I will admit it, that. This looks like a cool freaking spot to be. Yeah. I will say because like when I when I was on tour like three or four years ago, it was the first time I'd ever seen mountains in my entire life. What? In person. Yeah, in person. What? I had seen like pictures of mountains, but <laughs> and I like I'm a huge Bob Ross watcher, but shut the fuck like, up. Like when and seriously, when I like when I went to Alaska, I was like, holy shit, this is 
Fuck it man. is when man. when you see like a landscape that is genuinely so beautiful, it is very powerful. Yeah, I, it was, and I had never seen anything like that in my whole life until like three years ago. It was very, very cool. King Kieran says, "Where did you grow up? The plains, fucking Ohio." Like, yeah, it's the flattest fucking state. Like, I mean, I, I, don't quote me on that, but it's very flat. It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Apart from Cincinnati, it's pretty flat, uh, and Cincinnati is just a valley. Anyways. Oh wait. Larry's not with you, is he? <laughs> Please tell me Larry's not with you. <laughs> oh, Mr. Nick. Pearls! What are you doing here? Nothing. What about Mystic Maya? Is she alright? Now you seemed really you defensive break... about that, so I'm a little did confused. Did you break another Did you break another sacred urn with the spirit <laughs> of a long dead Curane family ancestor? <laughs> uh well. We don't know yet. <laughs> oh, I see. No! No! Larry, what are you doing here with this sweet summer child? <laughs> oh, God. This is the worst. Hey! What do you think you're doing here, Nick? Larry... This is the loser shack, where losers get together to lose themselves. That's that's really good, actually. This is the what? Hey, we find comfort in each other's failures, okay? You got a problem with that? <laughs> oh, no. Look, Mr. Nick. Mr. Larice did a picture of me. No. That's... Uh... Great, Pearls. We're gonna go get- we're going to gather firewood now. We'll be cooking some half-rotten potatoes over a miserable little campfire. So stay out of our way! I don't believe this. Why can't he try getting fired up over becoming a better man? No one believes a word I say anymore. Listen to me, Pearl. You don't want to trust this kind of guy, okay? He'll only let you down. Now you listening to him? No. Oh, Mystic Maya. <sighs> I don't even want to ask about this first one, but I guess we have yeah, to. Yeah, Larry. Yeah. I, if this is if this is like your other pictures, I really don't want to see it. <laughs> Larry. Is there so oh, it's this picture. Is there something you want to oh, tell me about this God. picture? <laughs> I've got nothing to say to you, Nick. My life's here now, with Pearl. Two losers cooking Stop potatoes together. Stop calling Pearl's a loser. Larry, she's like <laughs> eight years old. Like, fuck off. <laughs> you not destroy the confidence of an eight-year-old just because you suck? What am I going to do with him? Kill him. <laughs> Kill him now. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> All I right, am then. The Senate. <laughs> <laughs> I am the Senate. But actually, it was me all along. No! You get me. I am the I Senate. I was the Senate. <laughs> God damn it. Also, I was the Senate all along. Also, I'm Darth Plagueis the Wise. <laughs> <laughs> Have you it, ever heard the story of me? It it's cuts not the fucking. It's that a... I would tell you. It but I am also the Jedi, so I wouldn't have told you that either. It cuts to fucking Amidala, and she's like, So this is how democracy ends. Not with a whimper, but with a Zvari! Zvari! <laughs> 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 uh, fuck me, I hate that I'm gonna have to do this edit now. <laughs> uh, Alright then. What do you think about this picture, Pearls? Oh, Pearl. I think it's really well drawn. You, you... I can't draw at all, so I think it's really amazing. See? Someone appreciates it! It's tough getting the flames to look like that, you know? It's supposed to be Sister Iris flying through the air, isn't it? I love it. 
It's like a dream. A wonderful fantasy. Pearl, she's on zoom, fire. Zoom into Pearl's brain and it's just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, no, no. It wasn't a dream. She really flew. I'm telling you, Iris really flew that night. But Mr. Loris... <sighs> Not you too. Please don't look at me like that, Pearl. Don't look at me like I'm some kind of nutcase. I beg of you. I guess this picture really is a representation of what Larry thinks he saw. Okay, so I was half asleep when I was here that night. But I was wide awake after the lightning struck. I do like that picture. It's very good. Larry O-Face confirmed. Shut up. How <laughs> dare you. <laughs> <laughs> And I saw what I saw. It was exactly like I drew in the picture. And it looks like I don't have any choice but to take this sketch at face value. Hey, what's with the look of doubt on your face? I mean... <laughs> I like how we asked that question to Pearls, but it was yeah. mostly just Larry talking. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta... Whatever. Um, Pearls. Y yes, Mr. Nick? I've been meaning to ask you about the night of the murder. Where were you? And what exactly were you doing when it all happened? I was in Miss Donim's room, and I was murdering her. <laughs> you got me again, Mr. Nick. Yeah, Thank you, thank another, you, Fridge. Brought back the got me again. We haven't yeah, had always, one of those it's, one in of our, it's, a, it's a classic. It is one of, it our, is. one of our best and oldest running jokes. Yeah. Uh, I... Um, I... <laughs> what? <laughs> I was just... Well, I'm just a kid, you know? Teehee, <laughs> it couldn't have been me! <laughs> no! Damn it, is this when we're getting... When it zooms into the Cyclox and it gets her serious face. Yeah. It's like, I'm just a kid. <laughs> I was ha, lying. Ha, ha, <laughs> ha, ha. Uh, I'm sure it doesn't really matter wh what I was do what I was doing, d d does it, Mr. Nick? Sorry, Pearls, but yes, it does. On the night of the murder, you were supposed to be in Miss Donim's room, reading a book together. But Miss Donim was murdered, and you, Pearls. We're at the inner temple. Just what exactly happened that night, Pearls? I'm really sorry, Mr. Nick. No! But this, but this is where you die. Your- Oh, God. Your cousin could literally be- Well, I hate that. Uh... Bridge. Been a bad Bridge. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jason with the perfect timing on the raid there. Uh, yeah. What the we've fuck? All, we've all been bad girls here. Bro, you know I have the Magatama, right? You yeah. know you can't get away with this. Yeah. I, I know I'll be punished. Oh, no. What are you talking about, Pearls? <gasps> My spiritual power. It has disappeared. Uh oh. What? Her powers have disappeared? Oh, we gotta talk about that. Can I get out that? No, wait. So, wait. You're telling me you're just a no power loser now? <laughs> Dang, you really do belong here with Larry. <laughs> oh, no. You're just an incredibly swole eight year old? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean your power has disappeared, Pearls? <laughs> it's... it's all over for me. Oh my god. A spirit medium who can't channel spirits is... like a painter 
who can't paint. Well, wouldn't the painter who can't ahem, paint just be a regular guy? Butts. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what are you looking at me for? Pearls, did you try to channel someone's spirit right here at Hazakura Temple? Oh. Tried but failed, perhaps? I get it. But I won't tell you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Way to go, Nick! You made her cry! That's... That was really cruel of you! <laughs> Just as I thought. I'm going to have to break her psych lock to get the truth out of her. It's a thing where, like, we might be able to do that with what we have now, but I feel like we should just go talk to more people just in case. Yeah. Never a bad idea. Yeah. And we can still talk we to still Bikini and probably Gumshoe. Gumshoe and Bikini. You'd never lie to me, would you, Snowmobile? <laughs> Thanks, Snowmobile. I wonder if Sister Bikini has gone back to the main hall already. I haven't seen Gumshoe around for a while either. Maybe they're having a cup of tea together somewhere. I bet. I bet Gumshoe is Sister Bikini's type. I think. I think Sister Bikini's Listen, type is. All types. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, I think Gumshoe should be everybody's type. I mean, on, like, how can you not hot, like Gumshoe? A hot, hot swole himbo. Come yeah, on. yeah. With come a on. heart, of, with a heart of gold. Uh huh. Uh huh. Gumshoe, Gumshoe, Gumshoe should be goals. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, why are you shaking? Oh no. <laughs> well, what's the damage? How is the sacred cavern? No. It looks like it survived, but we have an even bigger problem now. I can't find Gumshoe anywhere. <laughs> I told Sister Bikini all about it. About the five locks that were stopping us from getting inside the sacred cavern. This serious face is so, so good. It's just so good. Every it's single so time it makes me laugh. But who? Who every could have done that? Look at this face every time I do Look it. it makes me laugh. <laughs> the only people who know how to set those trick locks are those of the Kurain tradition. We have Iris at the Sacred Cavern trying her best to open, open them for us right now. Actually... There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about, Sister Bikini. Oh, yes. We were in the middle of a chat, weren't we? Yes. You were telling me how the Master of Curane disappeared 17 years ago, and that she definitely, totally was... at least on it. I want to know why Misty Face suddenly disappeared at this temple, or suddenly appeared at this temple. It was about a week ago when Mystic Elise... No. I mean, Mystic Misty arrived. After she showed me the talisman that proved she was the master, she said, Someone is trying to destroy the Curane tradition's main family line. I am here to put a stop to them. Someone was trying to destroy the main family line? There is only one heir to the title of Master at any time, and it's usually the eldest. That child becomes the new Master of Kurain, and her daughters, the main family. All other mediums become branch family members with no hope of controlling the clan. That's why nothing has changed throughout the history of the clan. Branch families always have to look with uh, uh, Brant's families always have and always will plot to erase those of the main family line. What a way to live. It's just it's just how anime plots are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Is there that many perks with being the master of the Korean channeling technique? I mean... Well, like, you do you get a life... They did describe, <laughs> like, Pearl's family, like, got treated like dog shit. You also comparison. get a lifetime supply of burgers. 
Oh, uh, now it makes sense. <laughs> so Maya's now I, everyone then. Uh, now, I, now I get why Maya wants to do it. Uh-huh. Is this the power of the? Is the power of the master worth this much bloodshed? <laughs> Chrono Wizard said they get a 401k. Oh my Fuck. god. That's. I hey, mean, listen, can I be the master of the Curane? Yeah, that, I, I, understand, I understand now. I'd kill yeah. for that. <laughs> a stable <laughs> income and a steady future? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just get to stream four nights a week and edit seven days of the week, so I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> You believe in the technique, don't you, Mr. Wright? You know its power is real. Yes, I do. The Force, all of it. It's been three years since I first met Maya. In that time, I've seen her channel the spirits of the dead plenty of times. During the Mask to Mask case, and during Maggie Bird's trial, too. I definitely remember that one. <laughs> Thanks to Maya, Mia's always on hand to help me out when I need her the most. And sometimes, unfortunately, Pearl. <laughs> the Curane technique has made a huge difference to the world, you know. Like that time they were shamed globally in that one court case? <laughs> I mean, the ability to, ability to commune with the dead. That's true psychic power, you know. Members of the tradition have always been there, behind every important leader. Mystic Misty was working for the president. Yeah, no, that's a very, very scary statement she just made. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> we should, we should like look in on that. Actually, what, what do you yeah, mean maybe, by that? Maybe, maybe we need to change our. <laughs> Thought process. Maybe it wasn't Bush did 9-11. Maybe it was Shireen <laughs> did 9-11. Mystic Misty did 9-11. Uh, was, was Harry S. Truman sitting there deciding whether to drop the bombs on Japan and that's just a like, Shireen <laughs> person? With, with the Why ghost would you of, go to that? <laughs> with the ghost of, like, George Washington? Like, yeah, do it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Radless Hanrat made the joke I was gonna I was gonna jump to. Channel spirits can melt steel beams. <laughs> <laughs> Rock Lee was trying uh, to stop them, but I don't want to justify Jesus. every American crime by like saying someone was channeling a dead person with a really bad opinion on things. Yeah, <laughs> they got like Andrew Jackson to weigh in on the Cuban Missile Crisis. Or right? some shit. <laughs> <sighs> He's like, well, I've spoken with some of the greatest minds in the world. <laughs> And we've decided to, uh, you know, invade Cuba, right, <laughs> Andrew? Yeah, that go with that. Good. That's good. That was pretty good. Who wouldn't respect such a tremendous skill? I suppose so, but with all that power and influence, I kind of expected you'd be really rich by now. Are you saying we're poor, Mr. Wright? Yes. <laughs> You're very direct, aren't you? People don't believe in it anymore, you see? All because of one little mistake. Wait, so you're- this- sorry. This genuinely ties back to the DL6 incident. You're fucking kidding me. Wait, you've heard of the DL6 incident? No. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, Phoenix, you don't have to ask. We all uh, know. A mistake? What mistake? It was 17 years ago. That's when everything came crashing down. <laughs> oh, it's, like, it's like the fucking Shu Takumi make a Ace Attorney game that doesn't reference DL6 challenge. <laughs> and he just fucks yeah. up every time. Fails. Honestly, just completely and totally fails. Honestly, that's how I'm sure he started making cases. Is he Don't... Just did don't Ace tell me mad libs but i can't wait for us to get into apollo justice and for fucking dl6 to still come up somehow i actually can't remember if dl6 <laughs> is important in apollo justice it would I be incredible Re realistically i'm pretty sure it doesn't yeah yeah um, we can always dream if it did <laughs> yeah honestly we'll figure out a way to make jokes about it then still oh i'm sure <laughs> All because of that incident. That incident? 
Metal Gear? Is <laughs> she talking about what I think she is? I'm sure the records still exist if you're interested. Locked up, of course. It was called Son of the a DL6 Incident. No! That's the name of the file. God damn it! <laughs> I love how they're treating this so sacredly when it's literally all we've uh, talked about for three games. Uh, <laughs> Look, Lady, I've done this shit like so many times. <laughs> Yeah, I see. I see everybody in the uh, in the chat making the Luke. It was me all along. <laughs> I was the DL6 incident. God damn it! But I, I have a, I have a. We don't have to talk about this right now. But I genuinely thought of this earlier. Who, who wins in a fight? We need a save data death battle. Does Mike Meekins or Luke at me win in a fight? I think Meekins just. But then it's the question of is is Mike Meekins actually is Meekins Luke at me? Is Luke at me? Yeah. That you don't. I can never tell. Is no, that the one person who is no, safe from from Luke at me's? Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah, chat, chat. <laughs> I'll post it to you. You guys can decide who you think wins in a fight. Meekins or at me? God damn it. The DL six incident, huh? Never heard. Never of heard it. of it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we talking about this? The DL6 incident. I know it okay. well. Okay. So I, there's no reason to talk about it, right? I handled a related case th just three years ago. Ah, oh, that's right. So it was you who was the defense attorney on that case. Wait, so what, what are we even doing here, Bikini? A murder that took place 17 years ago. Oh, okay. At least new art. Is right. I was expecting it to be the fucking... Yanni Yogi in the elevator again. Yeah. <laughs> it was the first time in the country's history. It was the, the first time in the country's history Fuck. the police ever used a spirit medium. Jinx, you owe me a soda. Damn it. A spirit soda. <laughs> the idea was to channel the victim's spirit to learn the identity of the murderer. And the medium who performed the channeling was Misty Fay, <laughs> Maya's mother. Delusive Gamer said that's actually Yada Yogi under the hood. <laughs> <laughs> Through Mystic Misty's channeling, the name of a certain man surfaced. Armed with that as evidence, the investigators were spurred into action. But that man, he was found not guilty, wasn't he? I forget. Who was the person that they accused? Was it Yanni Yogi? Yeah. 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 Okay. And Hammond right. was the lawyer. Right, because it was it was the the murder of uh, Edward. Right. Yeah. Oh. And then, and then even even though even though Hammond got Yogi found innocent, it still caused his life to spiral, uh -huh. and that's why he was swayed by yeah. God Karma's plan to kill Hammond, which was then used to frame Edgeworth. Yeah. Right. And she channeled Gregory. Uh -huh. And Gregory fingered Yanni Yogi. Don't take that out of context. Uh-huh. And Too late. <laughs> it was did we find out did he lie or was he just saying what he thought? I think happened? he didn't know. Yeah. Okay, okay. In his mind, the That's... only person that could have killed him was Yanni Yogi. Okay. Either that or he was protecting his son. I uh, I, I can't believe we're still fucking talking about this. Either. I mean, yeah, some people try to like it. It's frustrating, yeah, like, this dialogue is definitely written to catch people up in case you didn't play the first two games. Right, but it's uh, rough as hell if you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's right. He was. And the case remained a mystery. In other words, we failed. It was the first case the world had ever seen the Kirane tradition openly involved in. Because, you know... The federal government wasn't involved in covering it up. It was all over the media. The public, the judiciary, the people of Kirane Village. Everyone judged her. Everyone said Mystic Misty's powers were a sham. And then she just disappeared, vanished, while everyone still thought of her as a fraud. But I know the truth. Misty Face spirit channeling wasn't a sham at all. Of course it wasn't. And since you managed to reveal the truth, we're finally making a comeback. We're having talks with Joe Biden right now. <laughs> God, no. 
<sighs> the Kurain tradition is starting to recover at last. But with a new master wielding the power of the clan. Does she mean Maya? I mean, I'd hardly call her God a master. Damn. If so, you God. guys are not doing too well. Uh, hey, uh, Bikini, t t tell me about Family Feud. Do you love, uh, what's his face? He's great. He's so funny on that show. <laughs> Can't remember. The what spiritual the power. The spiritual power of the Kirain channeling technique is in the blood. I has told me the exact same thing before. I just Steve played Harvey, Hades you, and got that song, and it's a real, it's a real banger. Man, sorry, guy. Uh. Oh, what? Oh, thank you for this very helpful flashback video game. We, the women of the Fey family, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. According to Maya, only the women in the family can inherit that power. The main family's bloodline stems directly from Mystic Ami. But with each new generation, only one daughter becomes the new master. And the ones who don't become bran- and the ones who don't become branch families, right? That's right. And it's always the cause of tragedy. You know, Maya had a sister too. An older sister named Mia. Oh yes, I've heard of her. What? You know about Mia? Of course. She became a lawyer in the hopes of discovering what happened to her mother. Yeah, it was kind of a weird career choice. And lost her life as a result. <clears throat> yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> Gado, get out of here. Get out, go home. <laughs> get out. <laughs> Do you know what Mystic Mia is rumored to have said? She was rumored to have said, ow, ah, <laughs> when she died. Ow, my head, you son of a bit. How could you do this to me? <laughs> I am dying now. Blanco Nino, you? She said it wasn't only because her mother that... She said it wasn't only because of her mother that she became a lawyer. She also didn't want to fight with her sister over the leadership of the tradition. R really? Well, she saw what happened to her own mother, Mystic Misty, as she grew up. I guess Mystic Mia got tired of seeing all the rivalry between her mom and her aunt. Oh, here's Morgan. Oh, no, I guess not. That's right. Okay, yeah. Misty Fay had an elder sister, too. And Misty, having superior powers, managed to usurp the master's seat from her. Mystic Misty's sister is Mystic Morgan. As you probably know. Yeah. I remember meeting her first in that room. What the fuck was that room called? <laughs> I don't think ever know. <laughs> well, no one ever told me. There's a name I know well. It was a year ago now. At Maya's home. Curane Village. <laughs> I know that her hair is ridiculous. Yeah. But I seeing the outline is fucking wild. <laughs> It, I, I want think? someone, I want someone, and this, this would take a lot of work, so no one feel pressured, but I really want, like, a version Who's of this. Who's that, Pokemon? Someone, yeah, <laughs> and, like, it's, like, a completely different fucking thing, or, like, a weird-ass hat. Who's that, Pokemon? It's Luke, Luke and me. Spotty. What she did was terrible. It was all so she could make her own daughter the next master. Oh, damn. Some people say it's a strawberry, a toad head. That's really good. I suppose if you know about Mystic Morgan's daughter, then you must have already realized that Iris... Sorry, what? Huh? Iris? What's Iris got to do with any of this? That Iris is... Mystic Morgan's daughter. 
pew, 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 huge plot twist. Big plot what twist. Da, da, da. What the fu 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 fuck? Yeah, that's a big plot twist. Iris is what? Is she kidding me? Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? Did you just say that Iris is Morgan Faye's daughter? Oops! I thought you already knew. It sounded like you'd met one of the Mystic one of Mystic Morgan's daughters already. Well, yeah, daughters? but like, uh, I have. I know her very well. Oh. Yes, Pearls, Pearl <laughs> Faye. What if she was like, oh, I've never met a Pearl. I've never heard of that. <laughs> But I always That's thought she was... Not, she's not actually Mystic Morgan's daughter. <laughs> I Wait thought a minute. she was an are only you telling child. Me Pearl, are you telling me Pearls has been lying to us this whole time? <laughs> Pearls, it was really you, wasn't it? And Pearls is Maybe. already across you the border. You found me out. <laughs> already across the border. In Mexico, fucking... I don't know. Uh, I always thought she was an only child. You jazzed. That child, she's Mystic Morgan's. I had no idea. Mystic Morgan. But she's in prison now, isn't she? Yes. Ever since she was found to be a co-conspirator in a murder case last year. <laughs> oh, I don't like how I don't like how close Morgan is yeah, right now. It's all done to set Pearls up as the next master. What if what if Pearls is like, I'm actually a clone of Morgan. I started off young, so I'm going to grow exactly into her when I get older. I mean, I, I, I believe that is a plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> so even though Morgan's in prison, she still will be the master of the Kurain technique. I see. So I've been wrong all this time. Mystic Morgan had three daughters, not two. Wait. Dun dun dun. Three? Uh, what? Another, three? another plot twist. Yes. Iris, her twin sister, and Mystic Morgan. Okay, but they're what just, was the name just... of the twin sister? Damn, they're just dropping the giant plot twist right there. What was the name yep. of the twin sister? Did it start with a D and rhyme yeah, with they're Alia? Just, they're just gonna do that with little fanfare whammo. I think it's still yeah. pretty good. What? Oh no, don't get me wrong. Don't get Twin? me wrong, it's awesome. Twin it's sister? It's fantastic. It's because, I just love how like, it's, because, it's, just, it's great how nonchalant it all is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well because because there's more they have to save the twists for what happened in the case for the courtroom. Right. So right. We gotta get all these twists. There's so many twists. There's a lot of twists left still, yeah. Oh, you didn't you know? It all happened 20 years ago. Where were you? I was like seven. <laughs> After the clan leadership was taken from her by her sister, Mystic Morgan's life crumbled. So she did what any grieving parent did and had more children. <laughs> It wasn't many out. years. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, uh, that got too real. <laughs> it wasn't many years later that Kurain's reputation hit an all time low. When Mystic Morgan's husband realized his wife would never become the master, he left her and the village, taking their twin daughters oh. with him. Oh. Oh. That makes sense. So he just ditched. But he left Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> What a dick like, bag. Yeah, I don't want that one. I mean, he's a dick bag before leaving Pearl, but still. How awful. He was a jeweler, you know. In the end, he remarried, and that's when it happened. Oh, uh, Pearl wasn't born yet. Oh, uh, Pearl's a different dad? Oh. Uh... Oh. Ah, uh. So Pearl has half sisters. Mm. Mm. So Pearl maybe doesn't even know. Actually, I, probably doesn't I know. think guaranteedly, considering how she reacted around Iris. Uh oh, hi, he sister. Decided... <laughs> yeah. 
he decided to give one of his girls up to be looked after by us here at the temple. That was Iris, you see. It's unbelievable! If Iris has a twin sister... Data Bayo! Could it be? Um, could you tell me one more thing, Sister Bikini? What was the name of Iris's sister? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> no! <laughs> you don't get to I... do this! But, like, you could probably guess. I mean... Yeah, but, like... I I gave you the key point, which is that they're twins. So, I mean, <laughs> come on. You can you can go the other half mile on uh... this one. Finish the race for me, Mr. Wright. Come on. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Fucking Master Chief shows up and is like, Finish the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Master Chief, thank you. You're right, Master Chief. I should finish the fight. <laughs> You always just... know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't remember. All I can recall is that her father was a jeweler. Well, that's a clue, I guess. Hmm. Phoenix, how much more information do you fucking need? A jeweler? I wonder if there's anybody connected to this story that was a the child of a jeweler. Thank you very much. I wonder if there's ever a giant jewel at the center of a case. <laughs> That we still Ooh. don't know where it is. <laughs> Sevilla says, I know she was a female college student. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Wait, yeah, was good. her sister's name Melissa Foster? <laughs> You've helped clear up a lot of details. Pearls had two older sisters, huh? Yes, that's right. No doubt it was all because of Mystic Morgan's anger towards the main family. Anger? What do you mean? Phoenix, we've been over this. Her twin daughters were taken from her by her jeweler husband. But even that couldn't destroy her dream that a child of hers would one day lead the clan. That's why she had pearls? It seems that the incident here was a result of Mystic Morgan's anger. It was able to break free of the bars that confine her. So, Iris has a twin sister. Oh, come Plot on. Thickets. But this information will be useless unless I can flesh it out a bit. I need to ask more questions and get some more info. Uh-huh. Okay, well. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, we haven't gone into the, the courtyard, courtyard. So maybe Gumshoe will be here? Yeah. I mean that was that was pretty huge, huge twist. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it's shocking it didn't end it on that. That seems like yeah, that'd be a really good it. like go into the next case thing. But yeah, okay. <clears throat> oh, sounds like someone's happy. What tune is that they're humming? I was like. No fucking way is he back. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. Interesting why choice of the music. Yeah, why would they put fucking... Uh, what's his name, the old guy? Uh, uh, Victor, Victor Kudo. Kudo. Yeah, why That's would they play Victor Kudo's, Kudo's theme? theme? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they started playing it, and I was like, wait, why is Victor Kudo here? Doing the, doing the fucking pigeon song to himself. All right. <clears throat> No motive, no crime. No motive, no crime. Wait, sing it with no. me. No motive, no crime. Wait, you gotta do it to this tune. No woman, no cry. <laughs> no motive, no crime. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Actually, oh, I, I think that, that is what it's supposed to be. Is the Bob Marley song? Wait. Somebody wait, earlier said I can't now. wait to hear West do Gumshoe Bob Marley, and I think it is actually supposed to be set to. What's the name of the song? No woman, no cry. I don't know that song. Give me two seconds, and I'll wow. tell you how it goes. Oh snap! Oh snap! It's a fucking iconic song. No motive, no cry. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I'm listening to it. <laughs> uh -huh. No motive, no cry. Okay, okay. Uh huh. I remember. When we used to search, 
in the channeling room. In Kerrang. The what? <laughs> okay, there you go. I did it. I learned a song and sang it for you all. Wow. Well, Great job, Woo! I love my job. Who cares if the clues I find are no good? That's not what investigating's all about. It's about the music. The investigator investigates for the love of investigating. It's a passion. I think Francisca's rubbing off on you and overusing one word in a sentence. Oh shit! Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Good cases we have, good cases we lost along the way. I don't know the song, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have never guessed that gum she was into reggae. Oh my god. Every case is going to be airtight. Every case is going to be airtight. Hey, pal. Uh huh? Who, me? How long have you been there? I mean, I just got here. Oh, okay. So, what are you up to, Detective? I'm investigating, pal. That didn't sound like it. I made a promise to Mr. Edgeworth. I promised I would find a real murder weapon. A real murder weapon? That Bob Sword thing turned out to be a false lead, right? The shitty shitto. I'm <laughs> giving it my best shot here, but I still haven't turned up any clues. I just found these weird scraps of paper. It looks like a letter or something. Doesn't seem to have anything to do with a case, though. A letter? I mean, you gotta show me that letter, dog. <laughs> so, how's the investigation going, Detective Gumshoe? I don't know if I should be telling you, pal, but eh, I guess it can't hurt. Gumshoe, this has been your attitude for, like, every case this game, where you're like, uh, I'm technically not supposed to, but I will, because we have multiple games of experience now. Looks like the murder took place in the Inner Temple Garden. And that taking that bloody writing on the lantern pretty seriously back at HQ. What? You mean... I don't have the details, pal. All I know is, if you don't find Maya down in that sacred cavern, we're gonna be faced with one ugly situation. What kind of ugly situation are we looking at here? You got me. I don't know. What? They're not my words, pal. Then who said it? Mr. Godot. Motherfucker. Godot? What did he mean by that? About that letter you found. Don't remind me, pal. I busted a gun here trying to find a murder weapon. Wait, you're laughing? Yeah. All I find is some burnt up old letter. Burnt up old letter? Yeah. It's a P. I wonder what that's for. Yeah, it was in that incinerator right outside the inner temple. The incinerator? I knew it! I knew I wasn't imagining it! There was oh, snow yeah. on the incinerator when I first saw it! But after the incident, the snow had melted away. Which means someone used the incinerator on the night of the murder! What's up with you, pal? I've got it right here, if you want to take a look. C can I? Do you mind? Sure. Go nuts. I don't want it, pal. You can have it. It's old spirit mediums and masters and stuff. I bet it's got no relation to the case. Gumshoe, I love you, but you are so stupid. Spirit Thanks, mediums? Pal. It's gotta be important if it mentions spirit mediums and masters. Better, I'd better give it a good, good, good looking over and some serious thought. Make sure you chuck it in the trash when you're done. Littering's a crime, pal. God, so stupid. <laughs> <sighs> Can't help but love him.
be careful, blah, 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 once night falls, blah, 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 should be there. As soon as you hear the lights out, Belle, you must channel her spirit, leave everything up to her. Her name is blank. She is our ally, the whole blank. Here is a picture of her. Use it to channel her. I know you can do it. Once this is blank, burn the blank. Also make not tell anything of, tell anyone about this letter. Gravely roast the master in the fires of Hades and bring our vengeance to fruition. Glad that part was left. Wow, very convenient. Very convenient. Uh-huh. Okay. So, what do you know so far about the real murder weapon? Well, it wasn't the shitchy shitto that was found impaled in the victim's body. Mr. Edgeworth proved that in court today. Yes, that's true. In which case, it must have been a nutter blade. And that's what you're running around like a headless chicken looking for right now, huh? Yeah. And man, is it tiring work. But let me tell you something, pal. I'm no chicken. We've got the feather of forensics in our cap these days. What? We're using the department's secret weapon on this. Secret weapon? Hi, Mr. Wright. It's me. <laughs> the fucking Keyblade. Uh, what's ready this? To, ready to guzzle some more luminol? Oh, no. What's this secret weapon of yours? You want to know? You got to think scientifically, okay? All right. The murder weapon was a sword. Swords are, scientifically speaking, made of metal, right? Okay. Any questions so far? No. I know what uh, he's going to say. I'm, I'm with you so far. But I'll let him look smart. <sighs> so, what's the perfect tool for the job? Ta-da! A metal detector. It's yeah, back, you baby. You should have got missile. Raise your hand if you didn't see this coming from a mile away. I thought it was going to be Emma. <laughs> well, you want to give scientific investigation a go? Huh? I'm sure we already did the science thing. Me? It's like you don't even know that that happened. It's like that case didn't even exist for like five more years after yeah. this came out. <laughs> I've been using this thing for hours now. It gets pretty boring after a while. Why don't you give it a try? I don't know. Should I help Detective Gumshoe out or not? I mean, we have to do it at some point, so we might as yeah. well. Yeah. Come on, pal. It's good fun. I'm telling you. All right, then. I guess I'll give it a go. Like I said, this is the department's most advanced gadget. The absolute best. It's so sensitive, you could make it cry. It's so high-tech, you could skydive off it. That makes no sense. It's like it's so high-tech. Yeah. It's kind of All right, you got to read this in the correct voice, Zach. Oh, bother. <laughs> Good. So, now I'm going to tell you how to use it. It's possible the real murder weapon is around here somewhere, right? Sure. That's what we're trying to find out. Right. So first, let's turn the detector on. That's the sound of the metal detector's signal bouncing off of something metallic. Next, touch the detector and take a real good look around this courtyard with the pal. Once you've hit... Oh, my God. It's so Check annoying. The, push the check button. <laughs> when that happens, touch the gauge. <sighs> this thing picks up metallic objects that are hidden from sight. Take a good look at everything, anything and everything that seems suspicious. Okay, pal? Okay. Okay. Wait, is the staff made of metal? Oh, maybe. This is Mr. Donim's staff, isn't it? Scientifically speaking, they're usually made of wood. But the detector is reacting to it. speaking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but however you look at it, the thing's made of wood, all right. Wait. I don't bother investigating anything unless it looks like it might be metallic. 
Isn't the whole point of a metal detector to find metal where you can't see it? It's weird that this thing is causing a racket. Here, let me take a look at it. Hey, hands off! Examining evidence is a job for the... What? Self-destruct sequence initiated. <laughs> the top is coming off. Look what you've done. You damaged a really important piece of evidence. Oh, oh, oh. secret weapon! Wow, cane sword. I was gonna say, is that a is that a blade? I, 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 yeah. I just want to tell it's a blade, honestly. But that's why that's supposed uh, to be us canes. At yeah. least an Nimrock and a cane sword. Yeah, I think so. Hell yeah! You know that children's book children book authors have to defend themselves. I guess so. That's a... A... A sword! Swords are made of metal. <laughs> As I discussed earlier, inside the staff? Is this... Could it be... The murder weapon? Oh, shit. I'd never have guessed there'd be a sword concealed in the victim's staff! They call this kind of thing a sword cane, pal. Okay, Bloodborne. This one's a real gem. The workmanship is really something else. Thank goodness it wasn't a cane sword, or else the victim would have stabbed his own foot. I officially give up on trying to figure out how Gumshoe's mind works. The real scene of the crime was the Inner Temple Garden. Why was the sword used to kill the victim found in the main, main hall courtyard? Hey, Gumshoe, who knows about this hidden sword? No one. And then he just literally, kills Gumshoe. Literally no one at all. <laughs> Even the police didn't know about this until I, dis until I discovered it just now. Well, as they say, there's no team in Gumshoe. It doesn't look like there are any traces of blood on it. <sighs> then I guess this isn't the murder weapon, huh? Uh, no, no, no! I'm sure someone just wiped it off after the murder! You can do that? <laughs> yeah, of course! This thing's definitely the murder weapon! Great job, pal! It's about the same length as the Shichishido 2. This must be the murder weapon! Okay, I'm gonna run over, to, run over to forensics. There's gotta be some traces of blood left, even if the most, even if most of it has been wiped off. I'll go chug some luminol. See you later, pal. Wait, no, come shoot! Don't do that. Every little case is gonna be airtight. Thank you. There you, you got go. it. You got it that time. I feel like I feel like I knew it. I knew I know yeah, that part. That's every little case is gonna be airtight. <laughs> Wait up, detective! Huh? Uh, what is it, pal? I'm a pretty busy guy right now, you know. You're going to get that staff analyzed, right? Would you mind holding off for just a while? Huh? What are you talking about, pal? Please! Just until we find Maya. Maya? What's this got to do with her? I don't know, but I'm starting to get a really bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. Oh? You should take a Tums for that, pal. This episode tums, of Save tums, Data tums. is sponsored by Tums. Wow, oh. cool on that one. How so? Look, Maya's trapped inside the sacred cavern right now, and... Well, we don't even know if she's okay or not. The more evidence and testimony I hear, the more uneasy I feel. Y you don't think... Maya's been- Please, detective! Let's just wait until we can get inside the sacred cavern. Yeah, looking kind of Viridian there. Gumshoe, literally shut up. <laughs> okay, okay, just stop it with that face, pal. One thing, though. The staff's secret trick. Let's keep it between you and me, all right? If it gets out that we knew about it and didn't say anything, we're finished. I understand. This is just a regular run-of-the-mill staff. You got it? Okay. Now you take care of it, pal. 
Thank you, Detective. Don't worry. She'll be fine. Gumshoe. You know, there's a place at the base of this mountain that has some really good pasta. Please, God, let it be called, uh... Fuck, what was it? What was Grandpa? What was... Oh, the wet noodle? The wet noodle. Please, God, let it be called the wet noodle. I bet I'd take you there when you find Maya, huh, pal? Sure. Thanks. But, uh, you'll have to pay, because, uh, you know, I don't have any <laughs> <I'm> money. <more. laughs> I can't help but wonder, though. What was Elise Donim doing with a staff like this in the first place? 